Welcome back, beautiful tri-state area. You're listening to a moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Today in the Better, Brighter You segment brought to you by Suspera, we're taking on a powerful conversation that too often goes unspoken. Breaking the stigma of skin discoloration, how science is changing the melasma conversation. It's an important one to have. Hyperpigmentation and particularly melasma affects millions worldwide, nearly 40% of women over age 30, yet it's often dismissed as just cosmetic. In reality, the emotional toll can be as profound as the physical one, with studies linking visible pigmentation disorders to lower quality of life scores comparable to chronic disease. That's why this topic is so important. We'll be unpacking the emotional impact of pigmentation, the myths and misconceptions that hold patients back, and the innovative new treatments, including Cispera, powered by cysteamine, that are reshaping how we think about brighter, healthier skin. And who better to guide us through than Dr. Elaine Kung, a board-certified dermatologist, founder of Future Bright Dermatology in Lower Manhattan, and clinical assistant professor of dermatology at Weill Cornell Medical College. She's a Yale-trained physician whose research in tissue engineering has earned national recognition. Dr. Kung is known not only for her clinical expertise, but also for her role as a thought leader featured in outlets like NBC News, Allure, and BuzzFeed. Dr. Kung, welcome to the show, Superstar. It's an honor to have you here. Hello. Nice to see you. Thank you for inviting me. So excited. So Let's chat with melasma and the emotional impact. It's, it isn't just a skin condition. It's a story patients carry every day. And research shows that people with pigmentation disorders often report emotional distress at levels comparable to that chronic, chronic illness, which is what I alluded in the introduction. So why does pigmentation, especially melasma, have such a deep emotional impact on your patients? This is a topic that I'm very passionate about. I personally deal with hyperpigmentation issues myself since the age of 18, and I spent um, almost the entirety of my career helping patients with complex hyperpigmentation issues. In particular, melasma is the absolute most distressing of them all. Melasma itself is this dark patches map-like that's in the center of the face, and then also mustache-like shadow above the upper lip that Mm. for some people, even makeup can't hide. And because of that, it is so distressing. um, Meta-analysis of clinical studies say that upwards of 43% of patients dealing with melasma also have some depressive symptoms. So there's a big emotional um, impact to the condition compared to having a lot of freckles. Yeah, that really captures how pigmentation is about far more than appearance, right? It's about identity, confidence, and emotional health. So it's important that we're talking about this right now, which brings me to the causes and triggers. So melasma is often nicknamed the mask of pregnancy, but but we know that the causes extend far beyond hormones. So sun exposure, genetics, and even certain medications can all contribute. So in your diverse patient population right here in New York City, What are the most common causes and triggers you encounter? As you were saying, melasma is not due to one singular factor. It's multifactorial. It's almost the collision, uh, the perfect storm creates melasma. The top three triggers that we know of is a genetic disposition. Then it becomes hormonal changes and then environmental factors, UV light, and high energy visible light being the most important um, instigating factors. So for example, myself, um, a few years ago, I started taking um, oral contraceptives because my period was so erratic. And after about five or six months, I went on a trip to Thailand. I came back home and then started discovering like light patches right on my upper cheeks. And I recognized that as the beginning of melasma. So mm. I had to alter my approach and stop the oral contraceptives, even though I was using it as a treatment for erratic periods. So the oral contraceptives and then just sun exposure in Thailand collided together. And I started developing the symptoms of melasma. 
that's an eye opener. I mean, it helps people understand it's not just one cause, but a, like you said, a constellation of triggers working together, right? So f- let's forward to the myths and the misunderstandings, right? Online information is just everywhere. These DIY lemon juice masks, miracle creams, and the false hope of overnight cures. But melasma is a chronic condition that requires science-backed care, without a doubt. So what are some of the biggest myths about pigmentation that you wish more people understood? So some myths about melasma that I want to debunk is, uh, well, number one, that it's only a woman's problem. It's true that nine out of 10 patients with melasma are women, The men can have it too, right? That's, that's one of the main things, or that it's only due to pregnancy. And that's not true. As I was alluding to people who are on hormonal contraceptives or hormone replacement therapy um, in menopause can slowly start developing melasma as well. Now, another myth that is very common and it it's really like far out outreaching beyond melasma is the thought that photoprotection is only when you're going outside, only when you're going on vacation, only when you're going to the beach. That's absolutely not true. Besides ultraviolet light, we now know that high energy visible light that we could get indoors and even in front of our screens, our electronic devices, our computers can actually cause rosacea and pigmentary issues like melasma, which is why during the COVID lockdown, when people weren't really going out that much, I had patients who had worsening of their rosacea or worsening of their pigmentary issues like melasma because they just didn't put on any photo protection when they were indoors. So let's chat prevention versus treatment. I mean, we often hear that prevention is the best cure and sunscreen like you've been saying, remains the cornerstone of pigmentation management. But once melasma sets in, as you know, Dr. Kong, prevention alone isn't enough. So how do you counsel patients on balancing daily prevention with realistic treatment expectations? There is no quick fix to melasma. And the treatment journey is more of a marathon, being persistent, uh, being patient, rather than any quick fixes. Um, prevention is key, but it's also part of treatment. So when we were talking about sunscreen, like a mineral-based sunscreen SPF 50 or higher with iron oxides, that's the most protective of UV and high energy visible light. That I think is not only prevention, but it's also treatment as well, because you, you can't go on to improving pigmentation without that arm. Now, traditionally, the gold standard of at-home therapy for melasma was the Kligman formula. Kligman formula is the combination of hydroquinone, retinoids, um, and and a cortical steroid. However, it was limited to using it for three months, six months. I'm sure a lot of people who dealt with melasma have heard their doctors tell them two weeks on, two weeks off, two months on, two months off. And because there are problems with using long-term hydroquinone, um, the problem is called exogenous ochronosis, which is a blue, bluish brown discoloration that sets in with long-term use. And then on top of that, cortical steroids can increase blood vessel development and thinning of the skin, um, which is not ideal as well. And because of these new innovations for people to be able to use long term is really the, now the new cornerstone of treating melasma. And I guess that's why cysteamine, the star ingredient in Cispera, is such a breakthrough. I mean, it's it's naturally present in the body and has been clinically proven for significantly, been clinically proven to significantly improve pigmentation safely. So how has the science of pigmentation treatment evolved in recent years? And why is a hydroquinone-free innovation like Cispera so exciting for, for you and your patients? 
what's interesting about cysteamine is that there are clinical studies that have compared 5% cysteamine to the Kligman formula that I talked about earlier, the combination of hydroquinone, um, retinoid, and cortical steroid. And cysteamine basically performs as well as the Kligman formula, um, but has less side effects. However, cysteamine will take longer to work than the old Kligman formula, um, six months or more. So in my clinical practice, I have some patients who are using cysteamine or, or Cispera for over a year now, and their skin tone has improved dramatically. Wow. That, that, that it's really evened out. And I think some of our patients with melasma, what they're seeking is that the maps on their faces are not so visible, that it blends with the rest of their skin. And Cispera was able to um, help my patients achieve that. But it took longer than the traditional Clickman formula. However, it's something that they could use for a long period of time. And that's the difference. Got it. And and that's the transformative. I mean, that's it's it's that's a transformative mindset. The idea that we can achieve real results without the risk of hydroquinone gives patients both safety and hope. So that's incredibly useful. Now, many people silently struggle with pigmentation, feeling discouraged or even ashamed. So for someone listening right now who has been battling melasma or dark spots, what's one piece of encouragement or advice you'd share with them? So my advice to them is. Treating pigmentation, again, it's a marathon. It takes time. It takes perseverance. And then what's really important is pair up with a good coach, like a dermatologist who specializes with complex um, hyperpigmentation to guide you along the way. Got it. And, you know, at the end of the day, when you when you say it like that, that message of hope is exactly what listeners need. Because like you said, like it's, it's a very emotional thing to look at yourself in the mirror and feel helpless. And that this thing is literally taking over your face. So the brighter, healthier skin is possible and they don't have to go through it alone with amazing products like Suspera. I love how we came full circle on this interview. It was so informative and transparent. Thank you so much for coming on our expert on the microphone series. Thank you so much for inviting me. That was the Better, Brighter You segment brought to you by Cispera, a revolutionary hydroquinone-free solution powered by cysteamine, clinically proven to improve stubborn pigmentation safely and effectively. And to learn more, you can visit cispera.com or follow them on the gram at Cispera. And don't forget, you can find Dr. Kung on the gram at Future Bright Skin or at her Manhattan practice, Future Bright Dermatology. You can add directly to her website at futurebrightdermatology.com. And remember, brighter skin isn't just about looking good. It's about confidence, resilience, and living as your best life itself, your very best self. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. Do follow them at Future Bright Skin directly on the gram. We'll be right back after this. A Moment of Zen is brought to you by Cispera. If skin discoloration is making it hard to find your zen, Cispera can help. Stubborn pigmentation, dark spots, and uneven skin tone concerns go beyond the surface, affecting both confidence and self-expression. In a sea of skincare choices, Cispera stands apart. Backed by science and trusted by dermatologists worldwide, Cispera is powered by the advanced cystamine isobonic amide complex, delivering clinically proven results and effectively targeting mild to persistent discoloration while restoring the skin's natural glow. Unlike harsh treatments, Cispera is formulated for all skin types, including sensitive areas, ensuring visible improvements without irritation. Whether pigmentation is a new concern or a long-standing struggle, Cispera works in harmony with the skin to bring balance, clarity, and renewed confidence. Cispera is science-driven skin care for confidence that shines. Find your skin zen and restore your glow with Cispera today by heading to cispera.com. 